Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're going to be taking a look at the extension piece for your Rhino Rack awning right here at eTrailer. We set up the Sunseeker awning and we added the extension piece. Now with Rhino Rack accessories for awnings, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of extension pieces, there's a lot of different sizes. So before we continue, just double check the product page make sure it matches up with the size of your awning and that way you can use our e-trailer website to get the right fit to match the material is made of the same material as your awning so you have that poly cotton rip stop canvas so you got the canvas on the outside but you also have the more water resistant material on the inside. This will help out with, let's say your UV, this helps stop those UV rays and it helps prevent mold and mildew from accumulating or growing on your canvas. I'm really impressed by how water resistant this material is. So I have water here and it just slides off of the canvas. So even though I try to put water, the droplets just fall off and it all feels dry. So you don't have to worry about if you get caught out and a sudden storm kicks up, you'll still be able to stay dry underneath it. Although I do recommend trying to pack up because water can still come in from the sides. So our Sunseeker already has a sail track, so we didn't need to get a separate extension adapter because there's already something to zip into. But double check your awning to see if you need that adapter or not. Also, it will technically work with the other sizes, but if you don't get the right size, you may have some overhang of zipper like what we have here. So it's a super windy day here at eTrailer and whenever I work with awnings or tents and it's a windy day, I get a little nervous just because the canvas can turn into a sail real quick and next thing you know, I'm flying off the hill. So my main concern here was can I set up this awning all by myself even with the wind? Spoiler alert, yes I can. Let's take a look at that. So you are going to have a carrying case for your extension piece. That's this bag right here. It's about four feet tall, so just a little shorter than I am. And with my experience with putting back awnings, tents, extension pieces into their bag, this one actually wasn't that difficult. You have a good amount of extra space. That way, if you don't fold it up perfectly, it's still okay. But this is also a good spot to put maybe your extra stakes, your extra guy lines, or even your hammer. You do have pretty much everything you need included with this piece though. So you do have your extra extension awning. You have your two telescoping poles. You also have a bag with your three metal stakes as well as your guy lines. So let's get them all together. So the first step is to zip up your extension. Now I already have the Sunseeker awning out. So what I'm actually gonna do since it's a bit too high is I'm just gonna lower this if you want to do this too, since it's just an easier way of going about it, I do recommend always tightening down your guy lines as you go, just in case a big gust of wind pops up. See that zipper there? We'll put it over to the end, feed your extension through, make sure that's nice and secure. That way you can just zip it together. Once you have your extension piece zipped up, you can now move into your different options. So option A, you're gonna have the two telescoping poles. Option B and C, you're just gonna stake it down. If you have a friend with you, you could have one friend lift the Sunseeker awning up while you stake down the extension piece. If you're all by yourself, I recommend loosely staking down first and then lifting the awning up. So this is option B, where you have shade, but you also have space. So this is just at an angle. This is gonna be good if you just want some more room to hang out in. Now, if it's super windy like it is right now, this is a little trickier to get into compared to the other options. So that's something to consider. This is option C. So this is more privacy and shade than there is space. So your extension piece pretty much acts as a wall. The upside to this configuration is if it is a windy day like this, you stand inside your awning and suddenly it's not as much wind. There's a little coming from above as well as underneath, but it doesn't blow you away as if you were outside of the awning. So definitely a configuration for if you don't need that much space to hang out, but you still want to hang out. 
Remember, no matter what option you choose, please make sure everything is staked down and secured. So down here, you only need to bring it like a wall up and down, and you can utilize the corner pieces as well as the stake you have for your first set of poles. Even so though, I still use the guy line and I wrap it around both poles as well as the stake. One, for visibility so you know where the corners are and two, that way these are ready to go in case you wanna position the awning somewhere else. And this is option A. So this creates pretty much a whole new room for your awning. So you have six and a half by six and a half feet of extension. Now, the downside to our configuration here is if it is a windy day, you are going to have to be extra careful with those telescoping poles as well as where you stake everything down. Be careful with how you store those poles as well. So if you accidentally dent them, then you won't be able to utilize their telescoping height, which means this is going to be the maximum height you can use of the pole unless you get a replacement extension pole. So if I had a favorite option, it would be option C. That's because it's extremely windy here at E-Trailer and all the other configurations are a little tricky to deal with, especially if I'm setting it up all by myself. But again, that depends on what type of adventure you're going on, what situation you're in. Maybe you prefer more space, maybe you prefer more privacy. The great thing about this is you have the option to do so. But I really like how easy it is to zip onto your awning. Really the trickiest part is making sure you have the correct awning for this extension to add onto because there's a difference between the Batwing, the Batwing Compact, the Sunseeker. So again, our eTrailer.com website will help out a lot with comparing those part numbers and making sure you have the right fit. Now with the other awnings, sometimes you have tapered extensions with a door. Some of them don't have doors. This is going to work just as a wall but you do have those different configurations with those telescoping poles. So hopefully this video helped you out with seeing if it is gonna be the right fit for you and your different adventures.